Hi, my beautiful Pisces. What's up, you guys? It's Jessica, and it's Trusting True Tarot, also known as TTT Intuitive. Thank you guys so much for going to check out my second channel, TTT Intuitive, and looking at those pick-a-card readings. I really appreciate all the love and support to the channel. I want to thank you guys so much for your likes, shares, comments, donations, subscriptions. My new subscribers, old subscribers, what's up? Go ahead and hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that motherfucking like button, okay? So Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. If you are a Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus sign, this is literally the place you want to be. This is the channel that you want to be at, period, okay? You won't regret it. Now, I'm going to let you know how this person is feeling about you, all right? All you guys that are interested in the personal reading, you guys better know right now that these personal readings are half off and they will be half off until Pisces season is over. FYI, I'm letting you guys know now. It is on the channel. It's on the actual um, community tab too. Big shout out to my channel memberships. I love you guys. Gold fishies, star fishies, rainbow fishies. Mwah. All right. So whoever this person is, Pisces, we have the Knight of Cups here and we have the High Priestess. Lord have mercy. This could be a Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer, y'all. This could be like a water sign. You could be dealing with another water sign. Why do I feel like, who are, who are you asking about? Because this person, um, I'm getting a secret admirer. Like, I don't know, I'm getting secret admirer vibes. Like, this person admires you. They, they secretly admire you. This is somebody that's like, obviously, they're doing it in secret with the high priestess here. This is a secret admirer. What an admirer. Whatever, however the hell you say it. Um, this is somebody who is, this is a secret admirer. They secretly have feelings for you. More feelings for you that you know, that you potentially can know, or that they're potentially letting on. Um, they may be coming towards you soon, unexpectedly, to let you know this. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like... There may be an unexpected, like, show of emotions or, like, it's like someone coming in like, yeah, you know, I've always liked you. Or I've liked you more than what I've been, like, showing. Hmm. Yeah. Page of Swords. Hmm. Definitely getting secret admirer here. Let me let you know how this person is feeling about you. Let me let you know what the story is, how they're coming to what. Yes. Just saw the Queen of Cups too. Yes, it's right here. Literally, the, it just broke. Look. This person. <clears throat> they have more feelings than what they're leading you on to believe um they like you more than what you think they like you what and they're about to make some type of romantic gesture okay and it's unexpected who is this for honey i want to know what is going on what is going on what is going on okay what's the story when it comes to this person What is going on? Judgment. Y'all. What the hell? <laughs> this is news announcement. How? This is like someone has made up their mind. There's some type of final decision that they're making here in regards to you. Um, what the hell? Oh, what's going on? What the hell is going on? Yo, what is going on? I just said you could be dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, and I kept getting this water sign vibes water sign energy judgment king of cups yo you this may be a water sign a pisces scorpio or a cancer y'all someone's about to make this announcement there's about to be some type of big announcement 
or display of affection or love or emotions and feelings for you. I mean, this could be any other sign, but you know, I'm just saying. This person is thinking about how much they love you, how much they care about you, how much they want you. Hmm. Yes, indeedy, baby. How, did, how are they feeling deep down inside about you? How are they feeling deep down inside about my Pisces? What is going on? Ooh, this may be somebody from your past that you're asking about. Or you have a past life connection with this person or like you have history with this person is what I'm trying to say. Whoa. This is definitely a pair. I mean, this reading is coming out around Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? You could be listening to this reading in Valentine's Day two years from now. <laughs> Who knows? But this is crazy. This is a timeless reading, but my gosh. Um, deep down inside, the way they feel about you, oh, they want your forgiveness. This person wants your forgiveness. Deep down inside, they feel like you're not going to forgive them. Deep down inside, they love you. Oh, my gosh. They love you. Aww. They love you. I feel like this person is saying, I love you, or I have so much feelings for you. And they feel deep down inside that, oh, my gosh. That you may like, there's something about trust here. They, This person wants your forgiveness. They want your forgiveness. They want your understanding. Um, they may feel deep down inside that you don't want to hear what they have to say or you're not interested in what they have to say or. Aww. But I'm also getting that deep down inside, they may feel like you do truly care. How are they coming towards you, Pisces? Commitments? What is going on? They want, oh, this person wants to do the right thing. They want to do the right thing. They want your, this may even be someone who, ha, who was not really being honest with you about their emotions and feelings. Whoever this person is, I don't feel like they truly were being honest with you about their emotions and feelings in the past. Um, and I feel like that's why this is a shock to you or you may feel very, I feel like this is gonna be a shock to you. It's almost like that little boy in class or, or that little girl that pick at you, that keeps hitting you, that keeps pulling your hair and pulling your hair and just keeps pulling your hair, but really they like you. I don't know. I'm getting the vibes. Like they're mean to you, but really they they like you. Either way, I don't know why I'm getting that. But then I also feel like this could be a Taurus, you guys. The way this person is coming towards you is I really feel like this person wants to do right by you. They want your forgiveness. They want to do better. They want to, um, you know, this is someone that wants you to take them more seriously. Outside influencing how they feel about you. They may feel like deep down inside you don't believe them. <laughs> Three of Wands in reverse. Oh, I feel like outside influencing how this person feels the Knight of Cups. They're feeling very impatient. Damn. Whoa. Y'all, this is not somebody new. So y'all can go ahead and get up out my face talking about some. I don't want to hear nothing about the past person because you're asking about somebody from the past. If this is a new person, then goddamn, this person must be really. <laughs> they, they're somebody that falls very quickly and then I feel like this person may feel like you don't believe that they feel this way about you deep down inside that they truly feel this way about you they're making this announcement rather quickly you may feel like and they may even want to take this relationship to the next level the way they're coming towards you they want to be committed and you may be like damn that was fast so this person is really feeling a lot of feelings very quickly so that's another um example for some of you guys this is somebody that already knows you like this person wants a family with you they want to be happy with you they want abundance with you um they want to recover something with you emotionally they see you as the queen of pentacles the queen of cups um 
damn, they feel like there's unfinished business here with you and them. Um, this person is feeling like they're done waiting. You, you, you guys, they're done waiting. They, they kind of feel like they're done waiting. They're feeling impatient. They're feeling impatient about coming towards you right now. They're done waiting. They feel like their ships are not coming in. Damn, this may be somebody that you just... I don't know if you ghosted this person, stopped talking to this person, blocked this person. <coughs> wow, excuse me. But they're done waiting, y'all. They're feeling impatient. They don't want to wait anymore is what I'm hearing. Uh, what's their next move towards you? Ooh, three of pentacles in reverse. My gosh. Oof. There is something going on here. Ooh, not the knight of swords in reverse. What's the heart of how they feel about you? The strength. Oh, wow. Over our energy. Ooh, three of swords. Yo. Okay. The reason why their next move towards you is going to be the three of pentacles, y'all, <laughs> is because I kind of feel like this person becomes rather impatient. And I feel like they're going to make some type of move towards you, like I said. But I don't feel like it's going to be rather received well from you or you're not really opening up to this person. You're not. So the heart of how they feel about you is the strength. <laughs> they feel like, wow, you are rather difficult. Like they can't get you to budge. They can't get you to move. They can't get you to talk. They can't get you to say anything. The heart of how they feel about you is that they they still, they strongly desire you. They're passionate about you. Wow. Like Pisces, I feel like they feel like you are really unmovable right now. They feel like it doesn't matter what they do, confessing their love to you, opening up, being sweet, being nice. They feel like no matter what they say, it's not enough or you're not wanting to hear it. And so their next move towards you is the three of pentacles. So, damn, they feel like they did all of this for nothing. Like, why did they say it? Why did they open up? Why were they even trying to be nice? Why was they even trying to be, you know, why did they even put themselves out there like this? Um, so honestly, their next move is that they're not going to be trying to put any more effort or work in here with you. Damn. They're going to feel, they're going to get in their feelings. They're going to get in their ego. They're going to feel some type of way. They're going to have some type of mint. Ooh, yeah. They're going to be, they're not going to, they're going to be, um, you may really bruise this person's ego or you may really like this person is going to really have a lot of mental anguish here against you because they feel like they put themselves out there in a way. And they kind of feel like with the seven of swords here, you don't believe them. You don't trust them or like they may even feel like you're 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 maybe you're doing this on purpose. Like, are you trying to hurt me on purpose? Are you really trying to like really make me feel some type of way? Wow. And so their next move is that they're going to like hold back and stop. They're going to just pull back or stop putting in some type of effort or work here with you. This person may have already confessed their love. They may have already said something or left something on your voicemail or talked to you or came towards you with a love offer. But this is how they're feeling. What's crossing this? Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, Nine of Wands. Yeah. See? <laughs> Six of Swords. This person wants to come towards you. Oh my gosh. You've already came out like the Empress, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. My gosh. So this person is really seeing you as King or Queen energy, Emperor or Empress energy. This person wants to, then this person wants to just, you know what? This person really wants to take a leap of faith and travel towards you. And the more they try to resist and hold back um, because of how because of whether you did not respond to them or how you respond to them, they still feel the strong desire. They desire you strongly. They want to come towards you. They want to take a trip towards you. This person wants to see you, but they're trying to find their inner strength not to put in all this effort, to stop trying to put in all the effort. Because at this point, they feel like they're the only one putting in the effort. At this point, I just get this energy that you've stopped putting in effort with this person. Yeah, you, 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 you're you like you're done. You stop putting in effort with this person. And for one, for one thing that you need to know is that um, you learning how to master 
yourself and you learning it's like self-mastery. You have a lot of self-mastery right now. You have a lot of restraint and control over your emotions, your feelings. You guys are really in control over yourself right now. Like it's something about self-mastery that you have where if you know how to master yourself or you have self-control and control over your emotions, you basically can get anything that you desire or want right now. And that's what's happening. This You have this uh, strength about you and it's like, this person is just like, damn, like they may have never seen this in you before where you're holding back so tightly, like you're holding back so strongly and you're not willing to put any effort with this person. And it's making this person want to come towards you and desire you even more. So now they're in this chasing there. This person is chasing after you or running after you, you know, with an offer. It's this running chaser energy. So they just feel strongly, hey, damn, this person actually wants to like get in their car and just come towards you right now or just they, they're just chasing after you. <laughs> That's what I'm getting, you guys. That's how they're feeling. And they're really trying to hold themselves back from not constantly trying to make this effort here with you. Okay. Okay. Give me one card here. What does Pisces need to know about how this person feels about them? Just give me one card so I can let Pisces know. We have to stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So, yeah. This person is really trying to stay positive. They're trying to stay hopeful. They are trying to be optimistic. and But I feel like... I feel like they're having a hard time doing that. You know, I do. I feel like they, they really are having a hard time trying to stay optimistic right now about a situation here with you. They're thinking all types of negative things. I'm not going to lie, because I feel like you, in a way, you kind of like rejected this person's offer. Um, you're not interested right now in what they have to say. And I feel like it's making this person feel this mental anguish. It's making them feel, you know, upset. So this is what I'm seeing. It's, yeah. 